Hi, I'm Maya Kaufman and this is General Announcements. Monday at 6 p.m. are the Spring Sport Parent Player Meeting. Wednesday at 7.40 a.m. is an FBLA meeting. Friday is the FFA contest at Brunswick and Dr. Seuss's birthday. Saturday are FFA contests at Columbia. I'm Maya Kaufman and this was General Announcements. Have a good week, Tigers. Hi, I'm Ray Black and this is the Tigers Newscast Game Show. This week's theme is FFA in honor of FFA week. Here with me today, I have four FFA members and I'm going to be asking them five FFA related questions. Question number one, what are the official colors of FFA? Zeta. Uh, navy blue and corn gold. Or, well, they changed it, all right? Because it was like corn yellow, but then it was gold. So, no. Correct. <laughs> question yeah, number two. Who was the first national FFA president? Yeah, Leslie Appleby. Correct. That's one point for Corbin. Question number three. How many symbols are found in the emblem? Five. Correct. That's two points for Corbin. Question number four. When was the FFA started? 1928. Correct. That's one point for Layla. And final question. Who wrote the FFA creed? Ian Tiffany. Correct. That's two points for Zeta and two points for Corbin. So we're going to have a tiebreaker. Here's the tiebreaking question. How many medals may be worn on the FFA jacket? Three. Zeta. Correct. We have our winner. Zeta Ketchum. Hi. I'm Mason Trimby, and today I'm here with Carson Miller, and we're going to be doing Senior Spotlight. First question, uh, what are your plans after high school? Uh, after high school, I'm going down to Kansas City and going to a flight school to go into commercial piloting. Sounds thrilling. Uh, what was your favorite part about high school? Football. I've loved football all four years. It's one of my favorite sports, and I really miss it now it's over. Uh, what's your least favorite part about high school? Busy work. I've done a lot of busy work for classes that I probably don't need later on in life, but still had to do it. Um, what do you fear about becoming an adult? Mm, I don't know. Just having a lot of options. And uh, finally, uh, what advice do you have for the younger grades? Um, don't get bored. It's going to suck, but don't get bored of it. And it just makes it harder. Okay, then. I'm Mason Trimby. That was Senior Spotlight, signing off. Well, hello, fellow Tigers. It's a boy, Ray Shine here, and today I'm going to be telling you the weather for next week. I have a special treat, and it's the weather. <laughs> so on Monday, we're going to have a high of 70. What a special treat we have, Tigers. And we have a low of 49 on Monday. And on Tuesday, you better get your umbrellas out, folks. <laughs> on a month, on Tuesday, it's going to be thunderstorming with a high of rain. <laughs> a high of 75 and a low of 38. And on Wednesday, we have a high of 40 and a low of 21. And it's also going to be partly cloudy with a little bit of rain. We don't need this anymore, Tigers. <laughs> and on Thursday, it's going to be also partly cloudy with a high of 21 and a low of 29. And on Friday, last but not least, it's going to be a high of 57 and a low of 39. And it's going to be really sunny. Thank you for watching, Tigers. Have a nice day. <laughs> Hello, I am Tracy Kimball, and today I will be interviewing Caden Nichols. Can you tell me about your favorite book, show, film, or video game that's uh, two years ago? Uh, it's probably Far Cry 6 right now. How did you discover this? Um, Mason Mallet told me about it, that he wanted to play it. How has this impacted you as a person? I've just been playing it with him when I have free time. Great. And lastly, what would you rate it out of 100? Um, about 89. Thank you. I'm Tracy Kimball. Thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Mason Trimby. And today, I'm here with Hannah Campbell, and I'm going to be asking her about these lotuses that have been sold around school. Let's get that into business. So, uh, who would you say have been selling these lotuses? So, it's Miss Ketchum's Facts 2 class. It's a new class this year. Wow, that's great. Uh, what gave you guys the idea for uh, passing out these lotuses? 
So something that over the last year or so had become pretty popular with like the kids before school, but we noticed that there were not a lot, lot of opportunities for the kids that are riding the bus or, you know, kids that don't get to school in time to stop in town to grab one before school. So we thought we'd give them that opportunity after school for those kids that maybe don't have that or it's just kind of like a pick me up through the week. Okay. And would you say that, uh, that this has ever been done before? Or? It has not. Wow. Wonderful. Um, how many would you say have been sold this year? So we started it yesterday um, with the order forms and stuff, and I think we did around 60. Mm -hmm. yesterday. And uh, how much money would you say you've made off of these sales? So they're $4 for one, and mm -hmm. we sold about 60 yesterday. So it's not all profit, but we brought in about $240 okay. yesterday. So would you say that this sale has been overall successful? Yeah, I think so, so far, and I'm excited to see how it continues. Wow, that's great to hear. I'm Mason Trimby, signing off. Hello, I'm Mason Myers, and you're watching the Tigers Newscast. Today I'm going to be interviewing Coach Small about the junior high girls track. Uh, so, do you have any high hopes for the season? Um, my hopes for the season would be that all the girls that come out um, learn something new, something they didn't know about themselves, and yes. have an enjoyable season. Uh, are you going to change anything differently about the season that you did that uh, Nope, I'm going to keep it the same. Um, with junior high, most of these girls have never experienced track before, so this is all new for them. Um, so I'm hoping that they come out, they enjoy it, and they you know, pick up something new. Okay. If you were to describe yourself as a track coach, uh, how would you describe yourself? Um, I would like to describe myself as a fun coach, um, approachable, and hopefully um, educational that they learn something. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you.